Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atta. We have back with another episode on the channel, and today we are going to see how to integrate Redux into Next.js. So we are going to use a package called Redux Toolkit. And before Redux Toolkit, people used to set up Redux uh, with Scratch, and it used to be a big pain in the bungalow. And now that Redux Toolkit is here, things have gotten a lot easier. And uh, there is a way. There is actually a way to integrate. Redux and Next.js just was using a terminal command, but the problem is that it creates a completely new Next.js project. And what if, for whatever reason, if you don't want to copy your files and just want to stay on that existing project and integrate Redux into this, well, this video is for you. So before get, getting into all of that action, I wanted to let you know that 99.1% of the viewers of this channel are not subscribed to this channel. What are you waiting for? If you find value in this channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. So here we have a next step open. So let's go ahead and install some packages which we will use for integrating Redux in this application. So on the second terminal, I'll just write npm install Redux React Redux and uh, add Redux JS slash toolkit. Perfect. Now I just hit enter and it will do all of its magic, the npm magic, cascading all of the packages and just just using all of your storage. Yeah, it's finished with that and it installed all of the packages. Now what you need to do is you need you need to go ahead and make a store. So what does a store mean? So basically it's a starting point of Redux basically, where um, every, all of your data is collected from all of the files and. Uh, Basically, you can just use that one file to get all of your data we, uh, you, and uh, that's passed into a provider. We will see how that works. Uh, we'll just create a new file called store.js in the, in the very root of the project. And now here um, in vanilla Redux, you had to do a lot of different stuff here, but we just have to do a simple thing here. We have to say import. And one trick I do is I just write from and then I use uh, the and then I write whatever it, whatever it, it is inside that because then I get to when I, I get access to the IntelliSense. So from at Redux.js toolkit. Now I need configure store here. Perfect. Now I'll just go here and I'll export a store which can be used by a lot of different things. So I'll say export const store and uh, this will be our store of data this will be like a warehouse or something like that <laughs> so i'll say configure store and uh, now here i'll say reducer and this is an object and this is empty for now because of course we don't have any reducers we need to make it so basically reducers are like slice or basically it's we are going to make slices which will have reducers action and all the initial data so basically if you are interacting with slices it's like this so if you have a user slice it will contain all the user data if you have a cart slice it will contain all your cart in your e-commerce website something like that so basically different slices can be used for different purposes so i'll just create a new folder here uh, before that we will just go to our um, app.js and uh, make sure we integrate this before doing anything so that we don't forget this at the last so i need to do i need to first import the store so let's go ahead and do that import store from uh, from store yeah <laughs> and then what we need to do is we need to wrap all of our components with a redux provider so I chose this file because this is the top topmost file of Next.js. So basically everything goes through this. So I'll just go ahead and wrap this thing. So every component will be wrapped by Redux provider. So I'll say provider, hopefully IntelliSense works here. Yeah, provider, read, uh, and I'll just close this thing and I'll wrap this inside. Perfect. Now, we are not done here we need to provide the store which we just created so basically redux provider should know hey which store you are using and a store is a collection of slices so yeah uh, so we will just say we are using the store we just imported above here now we will save this and um, let's just run the application to see if you are getting getting any errors now so i'll just do npm run dev 
and uh, this should start our application localhost 3000 I'll just bring this here perfect now you don't see any errors on the screen this is store does not have a valid radio so that's all because we don't have made we, we don't really have a radio so yet so yeah we will work on that so now the next thing is that let's make a slice let's make the first slice uh, we will go to the root folder and create a new folder we will call it slices and here we can just basically store all of our slices so basically first slice i want to create is a counter slice so i'll say counter slice dot js and here we need a function called create slice but before that i uh, we can just use auto import that's not a big deal uh, first we need to have an initial state so const initial state is equal to and um, here i want here are the properties of that slice so basically here i have value zero so basically pretend that this was a user slice and you had an actual e-commerce site and this was the user slice what you could do is you can just store your data here so basically use a name and this will be abab or something like that and then uh, you have like something like email which like uh, hello at hello dot um, something like that you can have a lot of different things here and then you can just access that access that using reducers which will i will show just in a moment um, so we will just get this out so basically i will just have a counter slice which will have a value of zero and we will play around with this value in just a bit so now let's work on the actual slice i'll go below and uh, i'll say export const counter slice and this will be a create slice and we will uh, we will create a new slice okay perfect now this is an object so we can uh, we can pass a lot of different things the first thing i want to give it give this thing is a name and we'll call it a counter then we will have the initial state so i'll just leave this right here so i didn't do initial state like this because it doesn't matter the key value pairs are like the same variable so we can just do this and leave it and uh, then we can just create a new reducers object and this thing is special because this thing has all of your functions you, all of the functions you need to perform on this state right here so you can do a lot of different things so basically if i have like an um, increment function so i want to increment the counter by one so what do i do so uh, this is a function and um, i will pass on the state here because i want to interact with the state so you can all you can pass the state here and now here you you can just do state dot value so basically whatever here it is so basically if you want to change in username you can just have username and you can just change this to username and um, now here i'll just do state value plus equal to one which is which also means state dot value is equal to state dot value plus uh, plus one it's the one and the same thing so yeah now let's create a decrement function so decrement uh, i forgot a comma here we need a comma and now this is also a function which will be which will be having a state and then we will say state dot value minus equal to one so this will decrement the state now i want a function which will increment the state by some value specific value so let's do that so i'll say increment by amount and i forgot a comma again so yeah and uh, this will also get a state but the thing here is that i want to get the data from the user that how many i want to increment so uh, we need to also pass a dynamic thing so i need a payload from so i can just have this thing we can have an action here which keeps tracks of all the data passed through this reducer so now we can do state dot uh, state dot value and then uh, we can have plus equal to action dot payload so we have a lot of things here we have action dot type and action dot payload so we need the payload here so the data passed through the dispatch function 
wherever we need it so wherever the reducer is called so this is um, how we set up a reducer so now we need to export the actions so there is a lot of confusion here let me just write the sentence and then i'll tell you what it means so we will say export const we will say increment uh hold on let me just uh, try to say counter slice dot action and now i can use intellisense here so increment decrement and um, i need um, increment by amount perfect so why why are these called as actions so basically reduces as functions which change the state but if you have ever worked with redux which is like um, the redux setup with scratch you might know that we set up actions with like some strings and uh, then those strings are checked and then the reducer is performed so basically redux toolkit just makes new functions and then they can be called through a dispatcher so basically these are actions and then these action transfer control to this reducers and then all of this stuff happens so um, yeah it might seem confusing but um, a redux toolkit has made a made the made the thing a lot easier so now the last thing we will do export default and then we will default counter slice dot reducer now now we have the counter slice ready now let's go back to the uh, store and now we need to add the reducer in the store so the thing is that uh, now that we have the slice made we have all the functions ready now the reducer is ready to manage all the state so uh, to keep the track of it we will just say we need to import it first so i'll say import counter reducer from slices and uh, counter slice so i'll just say counter counter reducer so yeah it is just like counter we will use it later in reference so now let's just go back here and um hold on now let's just uh, go to the index.js now here's the thing i don't need any of these things i literally don't need any of these things just remove these things and um yeah uh, i don't need a class name i need i just need two components so i'll just go ahead and make a new folder called components And in this folder, I'll just create a new file. I'll just name it increment.js. Uh, I'll do rfc. I'll do underscore rfce. So basically, if you have ES7 React Redux snippets, you can use the snippets to create a React app like boom in two, like 0 0.5 seconds or something like that. And uh, I'll have a button here, which will basically increment the state. Now let's work with the logic here so now i need a dispatch function which will basically allow us to dispatch all of our actions to the reducer so that the reducer, reducer can take action on the state so how do we do that we need to use a hook so i'll say const dispatch is equal to use dispatch from react redux okay make sure you import from use from react redux because a lot of packages use this thing it might be a lot of lot confusing now button on click i'll just do it in line because anyway so um here i'll say dispatch and i'll say increment uh, can i use intelligence please um okay so increment and then now i'll just leave this here perfect now this should work and um, now i'll just um save this file i'll just copy this entire thing i'll create a new file which is called decrement.js i hope my spelling is right i seriously hope and uh, here i'll say decrement i need decrement and uh, here i need decrement um just just change increment to decrement everywhere perfect now this should decrement the state and um yeah is this thing correct okay 
now we will go back here we will include both of the component we will in in add increment and then we will add decrement and now we will have the state here so i'll just say um i'll uh, let's let's just make it a little easy i'll just say um we don't need to make an uh, entire new component here so i'll say const count is equal to use selector so basically now oh, okay use selector so basically now that we are in the provider of redux now we can use this hook so basically it knows which state we are talking about and we can get all the things we have st stored in the uh, store dot js file so now we uh, here we have the state and now we provide what what exactly in the state we want so we want state dot counter dot value so now you might be wondering where did this counter thing come from so let me tell you how it came from it went from here it's that easy it just came from here and now we will go to index.js and uh, here i will just try to display the count let's see what happens hopefully this works let's see we will save and um, we'll press increment it increments then we decrement yeah dude this works pretty fine i mean my styling is so bad but okay at least redux works fine so that was it guys this is the easiest way yet to set up redux i i used to struggle with a lot while setting it setting it up with scratch and this is the best thing that has happened to me while using redux so if you like the video if you watch till the very end just comment down below that you watched till the very end and that keeps me motivated to upload more videos and um what are you waiting for just click the subscribe if this video helped you <laughs> and show me some support okay so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye